So here is the much awaited uh, aqua farm video. So here is our greenhouse. Um, outside of our greenhouse, we have butterfly bushes to attract pollinators. Um, and we also have a variety of plants um, around the side and around the back uh, that uh, deter pests from entering the greenhouse. So some bugs we want and other bugs we don't. So we use um, outdoor methods to try to keep that harmony going as best we can. Um, if you look down further down the property line, uh, you will notice uh, we got some apple trees. We got a couple different types of apple trees down there and a couple fig trees. Uh, we got a beautiful black blackberry bush. I'm so excited about making blackberry jam in a couple of weeks. Um, that second trellis is built, uh, we just got a thornless blackberry bush, but it will probably be a year or two before we actually get anything from it. In the small box is elderberry. Um, I grow my own elderberry plants so that I can make uh, elderberry cough syrup and elderberry tincture to help uh, immune system and when you get sick. The two outdoor grow beds over here, uh, we have uh, sweet potatoes and regular potatoes, and our garlic and our onions are growing out here. Uh, total collectively, we have about four outdoor grow spaces, but this is just the side yard uh, grow spaces since it's the videos really about the greenhouse. So without further ado, I will take you into the greenhouse don't mind the buckets. <laughs> so this is our greenhouse. This is our aqua farm. Right here is our fish tank. As we flip open the cover of our fish tank, we can see our little fishies right there. So um, you will notice goldfish. We always use goldfish because they're the best tester for water. Hi buddy, they're hungry. Um, and then you can see the little tilapia. So um, yes, they're very little now, but by September, they're gonna weigh anywhere between one and a half and two and a half pounds. Um, over here, we have our experimental garden. We've had a heck of a time getting zucchini and squash to grow in here for some reason. So we're trying something a little different. Uh, please notice the use of marigolds throughout the entire greenhouse as a natural bug defense system. Uh, we cannot claim to be organic because our fish are located inside the greenhouse, but we have to be all natural because anything we put on the plants is gonna make it to the fish and we don't want to hurt the fish. Um, in our first grow bed right here, we got um, three different types of lettuce mixes and natural greens and some microgreens. Uh, we do have two squash plants that we're trying something different over in this main grow bed again. Uh, first you don't succeed, try, try again. So here's the tank and you can see that PVC pipe uh, takes that water uh, into this. This is a swirl filter just in there. Um, and then in this has some median. This is going to help uh, get the big salad pieces of fish uh, poo poo out um, before it is then sent into this tank. When, open up the cover here, when the water hits the top of that pipe, the system will actually kick on <clears throat> and the water will be tanked from this tank up this PVC, across, over here, and then right into the grow bed. So that nasty, fishy, poopy water goes into my grow bed, fills it up, the plants uh, eat all the nutrients out of the water and then um, cleans the water. So as the water goes down in level, it goes down these pipes that are ran across here and put in this uh, barrel. I can't open up the tab or open up the cover because of our wires here, uh, but the water looks beautiful. And then the water is then pumped directly back from that tank across this PVC and right back into my fish tank. So every day I feed my fish my fish do their thing, that water then feeds my plant. Uh, the World Health Organization actually said that aquaculture could end world hunger. Um, I get 10 times the amount of produce per square foot, but I only use 10% of the water compared to a traditional agricultural farm. Um, and so in areas that, you know, water is of short supply, this could be a way to feed a mass number of people. Um, aqua farming is not as popular in the United States as it is in Europe or Australia. Most of the people we uh, connect with uh, socially about aqua farming are all from Australia and Europe. Um, um, I think it will catch on eventually in the United States, um, but you know, we'll see. So these are my broccoli plants. And you'll notice I got broccoli and I got basically everything at different stages. So we plant them a couple weeks apart so that we always have something bearing fruit and something at its peak. And when the plant, you know, this was my first one. So after this gains and I, I harvest, I'll take that out and I'll replace it with something new. Um, here we have my pickling cucumbers. I'm a big canner. Um, and then my green beans. Uh, they're doing really, really good this year. Um, you will notice that we have trellises built up. These beans will go all the way to the top by the end of the season. Um, again, they're very young plants right now. Same thing with this one. Some more beans. I'm a big bean fan. Um, right here, I got your cherry tomatoes, so you're nice poppable. And then we got some cauliflower over here. Again, use some marigolds throughout all of them. 
And then we got our final grow bed over here. These are my big beef tomato. Um, they're great for salsa and spaghetti and um, just stewed tomatoes. Um, here I have my regular cucumbers. And then I have some herbs. I'm, I got my basil here. I'm actually trying to grow echinacea. Echinacea is really surprisingly hard, difficult to grow. Um, and then I got some milkweed. Again, all the things that we grow in here are either eaten by us, canned, dehydrated, or bartered. Um, I'm also big into using herbs um, instead of over-the-counter uh, prescriptions and such. So um, we have a lot of uh, plants on the property specifically for different ailments, um, whether it be like yarrow, echinacea, elderberry, etc. Um, all different types of mints, that kind of stuff. So um, I hope you enjoyed my tour. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, or if you really like this video and you'd like me to post, um, you know, another garden, I got several other grow spaces out here I could run you through, uh, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. And I hope that now that you have a visual, um, some of my PowerPoints make a little bit more sense. Um, have a great day. Thanks.